Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm giving you a quick guide on how to deal with those pesky blisters. Whether you're an avid hiker, a runner, or just someone who occasionally gets blisters from new shoes, this guide is for you. Blisters are those small, fluid-filled pockets that form on the outer layer of your skin. They can be super annoying, but don't worry, I've got your back. These little nuisances can pop up anywhere on your body, but they are most commonly found on your hands and feet. First off, let's talk about what causes blisters. Understanding the root cause can help you prevent them in the future. But I the most common culprit is friction think shoes that rub or manual labor that involves repetitive movements. When your skin is constantly rubbing against something, it creates friction, which in turn causes the skin to separate and fill with fluid. Burns, whether from heat, sun or chemicals, can also cause blisters. Imagine spending a day at the beach without sunscreen or accidentally touching a hot pan ouch. Infections like cold sores, chicken pox or athlete's foot are other common causes. These infections can lead to blisters as your body tries to fight off the invading germs. And don't forget, skin conditions such as eczema or dermatitis, and even medical conditions like diabetes, can lead to blisters. These conditions can make your skin more sensitive and prone to blistering. Now, how do you know you have a blister? It's pretty straightforward, but let's go over the symptoms. Look for a raised, fluid-filled bump. This bump is usually filled with clear fluid, but it can sometimes be filled with blood or pus if it's infected. It can be clear, bloody, or pus-filled if it's infected. An infected blister will also be more painful and may have a yellow or greenish tint. You'll probably notice some pain or tenderness around the area, along with redness and swelling. The skin around the blister might feel warm to the touch. So what should you do about it? Let's dive into some practical tips for treating and preventing blisters. First thing, leave it intact. Your body has created this little bubble to protect the underlying skin and help it heal. Avoid the temptation to pop it, as this can lead to infection. Popping a blister exposes the raw skin underneath to bacteria and other germs. Cover it with a bandage to protect it. A bandage will cushion the blister and keep it from getting worse. If it does break, use an antibiotic ointment to keep it clean. This will help prevent infection and speed up the healing process. Prevention is key, so wear proper footwear and clothing to reduce friction and keep your skin dry to lower the risk of blisters forming. Make sure your shoes fit well and are broken in before you wear them for long periods. Now if you notice your blister is showing signs of infection, like pus, increased pain or severe redness, it's time to see a doctor. Don't wait too long, as an infected blister can lead to more serious complications. That's it for today's quick guide, I hope you found these tips helpful. Stay safe and take care of your skin. Remember, a little prevention goes a long way, but don't forget to like and subscribe for more handy tips. Your support helps us create more content like this with Zuri. Catch you next time. Take care and happy blister-free adventures. Welcome back. We're thrilled to have you join us again. In this chapter, we'll dive deeper into prevention tips for blisters. Blisters can be a real pain, especially if you're an avid hiker, runner, or just someone who enjoys long walks. But don't worry, we've got you covered with some practical advice. Wearing the right shoes is crucial. It's not just about style, it's about comfort and protection. The right pair of shoes can make all the difference in preventing blisters. Make sure your shoes fit well and are appropriate for the activity you're doing. Ill-fitting shoes can cause unnecessary friction, leading to those dreaded blisters. Always take the time to try on shoes properly and walk around in them before making a purchase. Use moisture-wicking socks to keep your feet dry. These socks are designed to draw moisture away from your skin, which is essential in reducing the risk of blisters. This helps in reducing friction and the likelihood of blisters forming. Remember, dry feet are happy feet. If you're prone to blisters, consider using blister pads or moleskin on high friction areas. These products can be lifesavers, especially during long hikes or runs. These can act as a barrier and provide extra cushioning. They help to protect your skin from the constant rubbing that can cause blisters. Also, keep your skin moisturized to prevent dryness and cracking, which can lead to blisters. Dry skin is more prone to damage, so regular moisturizing is key. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Taking these small steps can save you a lot of discomfort in the long run. Small steps can make a big difference. Whether it's choosing the right footwear, using the right socks, or applying protective pads, each action contributes to blister prevention.
Stay tuned for more tips and tricks. We're here to help you enjoy your outdoor activities without the worry of blisters. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more handy tips. Your support helps us bring you more valuable content. See you next time. Until then, take care of your feet and happy trails. Uh, now let's talk about some home remedies for blisters. If you have a blister, you can soak it in warm water with Epsom salt to reduce swelling and pain. Aloe vera gel can also help soothe the skin and promote healing. Applying a cold compress can reduce inflammation and numb the pain. Remember to keep the blister clean and covered to prevent infection. It's important to know when to seek medical attention for a blister. If you notice signs of infection, such as increased pain, redness, swelling or pus, it's time to see a doctor. Also, if you have a blister that doesn't heal or keeps coming back, it could be a sign of an underlying condition that needs medical attention. Don't hesitate to seek professional help if you're unsure about the severity of your blister. In this chapter, we'll hear from people who have dealt with blisters and how they manage them. Blisters can be a common yet painful issue for many, whether you're an athlete, a construction worker, or just someone who enjoys long walks. They can disrupt your daily activities and make even the simplest tasks uncomfortable. But as we'll see, there are various ways to prevent and treat them effectively. These personal stories will provide real life insights into the challenges and solutions that come with blister care. Hearing from others who have faced similar issues can be incredibly reassuring and informative. It's not just about the physical pain. Blisters can also affect your mental well-being, making you hesitant to engage in activities you love. By learning from others, you can find strategies that work for you and regain your confidence. Cut to a faceless silhouette of an individual speaking. I used to get blisters all the time from my running shoes. It was so frustrating, but I found that switching to moisture-wicking socks made a huge difference. I also started paying more attention to the fit of my shoes, ensuring they weren't too tight or too loose. This small change had a big impact on my comfort and performance. I also began using blister prevention tapes on areas that were prone to friction. This proactive approach helped me avoid blisters altogether. It's amazing how a few simple adjustments can make such a significant difference. And get to another silhouette. Working in construction, blisters were almost a daily occurrence. The heavy boots and long hours on my feet made it inevitable. I finally started using blister plasters, and they really helped to protect my skin and speed up healing. I also learned to take breaks and change my socks during the day to keep my feet dry. Another tip that worked for me was applying a layer of petroleum jelly on my feet before putting on my socks. This reduced friction and kept my skin from breaking down. It's a simple yet effective method that I recommend to anyone dealing with blisters. We'll also get some expert advice from dermatologists on the best practices for blister prevention and treatment. These professionals have seen it all and can offer valuable tips that you might not find elsewhere. Their insights can help you understand the underlying causes of blisters and how to address them effectively. Cut to a faceless silhouette of a dermatologist. Blisters are often caused by friction, so ensuring your footwear fits properly is crucial. Ill-fitting shoes can create pressure points that lead to blisters. It's also important to choose the right materials for your socks and shoes. Breathable, moisture-wicking fabrics can help keep your feet dry and reduce the risk of blisters. Additionally, keeping your feet dry and using protective dressings can significantly reduce the risk. If you know you'll be on your feet for extended periods, consider using blister prevention products like moleskin or gel pads. These can provide an extra layer of protection and comfort. Cut to another dermatologist silhouette. If a blister does become infected, it's important to seek medical attention promptly. Signs of infection include increased redness, swelling and pus. Early treatment can prevent complications and promote faster healing. Don't ignore an infected blister, as it can lead to more serious issues if left untreated. In some cases, you might need antibiotics to clear the infection. Always keep an eye on your blisters and take action if you notice any signs of infection. Proper care and attention can make a big difference in your recovery. Stay tuned for some valuable insights and tips. Whether you're an athlete, a worker, or just someone prone to blisters, these stories and expert advice will help you take better care of your skin. By understanding the causes and solutions, you can prevent blisters from disrupting your life and enjoy your activities without pain. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. 
taking proactive steps to protect your skin can save you a lot of discomfort and trouble in the long run. So listen closely and take notes on the tips shared in this chapter. These stories and expert advice will help you take better care of your skin. With the right knowledge and tools, you can keep your feet healthy and blister-free. Let's dive in and learn more about how to manage and prevent blisters effectively.